So children, we are going to discuss new topic, assets and places. So introduction, I will start by giving the differences between assets and places. I will give the introduction by giving the differences between assets and places. Children, so many people put forward so many theories regarding the assets and places. And as far as most important theories are concerned, among them, the first one is Arrhenius theory. Arrhenius theory of assets and Arrhenius theory of bases. Arrhenius, okay. What Arrhenius said means he was the first scientist among this group of scientists. He was the first scientist who tried. He said, acids are the substances, acids are substances which liberate H plus ions when dissolved in water. He said, he said like that. Okay. In exam also, if they ask you the definition of acid, write this only. Okay. And he said, base is the substance which liberates OH minus ions when dissolved in water. Means what, sir? You will get out. Simple children, nothing, nothing is there. Like suppose HCl is there. If I mix in this in water, you will get H plus and Cl minus N. H2SO4 is there. If I mix this in water, you will get H plus and SO4 minus 2 ions. That's so, seven. Okay, suppose HNO3 is there. If I mix this, then you'll get H plus and NO3 minus ions. Okay, his theory was successful. Till when, then later scientists, they asked, CO2 is also acid, but it don't have H plus. How he said. N2O5 is also acid, but it don't have hydrogen. Then how? At that time, his theory became vulnerable. Then, sir, he, uh, his theory became wrong. Why? Because he could not explain about the acids which don't have H plus ions in it. Then this theory became uh, old and new theories have been put forward to explain about what happens if H plus ions is not there. But for 10th class level, if you write this one, this is enough. Okay. This is enough. But I will discuss other uh, other theories also because you people know something about the electron losing and gaining all those things, you know. That's why I will discuss children. So what are the other theories I am explaining? Just listen children. Next theory is Lowry and Bronsted theory. Lowry and Bronsted theory. He said proton donors. Proton donors are acids. Because I was asking, you know, if H plus ions are not there, how, what you will do? So they forgot about H plus and they started discussing about protons and electrons. He said, Laurie and Bromstead, he said that proton donors are acids and proton acceptors. Okay. And proton acceptors are bases. This theory also became old. Why means a proton means indirectly H plus only not children. Then the famous theory which we follow even today is Lewis theory of acids and bases. What Lewis said means acids are electron acceptors and bases are electron donors. This is the famous theory. Okay, children, in small I will explain this both. And if you still don't understand, in the future classes you will understand, children. In small I will explain, very, very small. Okay, children, we have metals and non-metals, everyone knows. Metals always give electrons. Non-metals always take electrons. Non-metals always take electrons. Metals always give electrons. Why they give or take to attain stability? Non-metals always take electrons. That's why wherever you see non-metals, they are acid sodium. Like suppose CO2, carbon dioxide is an acid. Carbon is non-metal. Sulfur dioxide is an acid. Sulfur is non-metal. N2O5 is an acid. Nitrogen is non-metal. Okay, so wherever you see non-metals, they're acids, that's all. And wherever you see metals, NaOH is a base, KOH is a base, CaOH taken twice, it is a base. Metals are there. It's nowhere related to H plus or OH minus. Later, it is not related. 
whoever takes electrons it is an assay whoever gives electrons it is bases they told like that so indirectly children i want to say in the beginning only what i want to say is non metals will form acids and metals will form bases don't ever forget this point non metals means acids why non metals acids because they take electrons non metals take electrons who will give electrons metals will give electrons what for this giving and taking to attain stability so metal means bases children that's all outrightly metals means bases that's all and non metals means acids these are definition differences children definition differences still so many other differences are also there so small small differences everything and i hope i felt i am thinking that you understood this topic then i will write in short i will write in short children so arhenia said h plus ion there is Uh, uh, I said bases release OH minus ions. Then Laurian Brownster said H plus donuts are acids, and H plus acceptors are bases. Then Lewis theory said the Lewis theory. Lewis theory electron acceptors are acids, and electron donuts are bases. This children, but this definition only should write. What is an acid? If they ask in exam, we write which liberates H plus ions when dissolved in water. What is the base which liberates OH minus ions when dissolved in water? When dissolved in water. Okay, children. This is Arrhenius theory, and Brownstead and Laurie theory leave this theory. Now, next difference. What is the next difference, children? Next difference. Acids uh, pH is less than seven. What is pH? I will discuss in another class. Bases pH is more than seven. Okay, children. Bases pH is more than seven. Means. Uh, Zero to seven, seven to fourteen. Less than seven are called acids. More than seven are called bases. Exactly seven are called neutral. What is this pH scale? How to do pH problems? All this I will say in another class. Just remember, less than seven is an acid. More than seven is a base. Exactly seven is a neutral. Okay, children. Next one. Acids are so so much fuller, like our lemon, like our mango. Like our uh, uh, sweet lemon, how they will be very sour. Whichever are sour, they are acids. Whichever are bitter, chedu. Whichever are bitter, karva, they are bases. Okay, children. Like our neem, bitter. Okay, neem. Did you taste any time neem, children? Neem juice you taste? It will be very very bitter because it is a strong base. Okay, children. Whichever are bitter bases. Next, litmus test. Acids turn blue litmus to red litmus. Easy to remember. Bar. Remember bar. What is bar? Acids turn blue litmus to red litmus. Remember like that. If you put blue litmus in acid, it turns into red litmus. You take blue litmus paper, it will become red litmus. Okay, children. And if you put red litmus in base, it turns to blue litmus. It is a litmus test. Only acids and bases will give litmus test. Okay, children. If you put universal indicator, universal indicator, universal indicator is the mixture of different dyes. Children, acids are red, pink, orange, like that, yellow, and bases will be blue, purple, etc. But neutral green is a neutral. Children, remember green is a neutral. Okay, this I will discuss in brief. Children, this I will discuss in brief. Just I am giving an example. Remember, with G or colors, no children. With G or colors, green is neutral. Green is neutral. Green is neutral. These all are acids, and these all are bases. Okay, children. Green is neutral. If you put universal indicator solution, children, is a mixture of dyes. In an acid, it will turn either depending upon strong acid means red, weak acid means orange, very weak means yellow, strong base means purple, normal means indigo, very weak means blue. But neutral is green. Already in physics, also we studied green. Where we studied in physics, green color, children. Anyone? Earth wire. Very good. Fantastic, Tanush. Earth wire. Earth wire is green in color, and here neutral wire. Sorry, neutral substances are green in color. Okay, children. This is universal indicator test. So I want to say, on the whole, red color is acids, blue color is bases. Next one. Two more are there, children. Indicators: methyl orange. What is an indicator? One more question. 
what is the indicator all these are indicators indicators are substances which show different colors in axis and basis one more question what is an indicator indicators are substances which show different colors in axis and basis methyl orange is a type of indicator okay which shows red in axis yellow in basis remember abbreviation mry mary mry means what methyl orange in axis red in basis yellow easy to remember one more question they will ask children that's why and last different than the children phenolphthalein is also another type of indicator these all are artificial indicators phenolphthalein okay children phenolphthalein in acids they become colorless children and in bases they become pink abbreviation remember ecp ecp means what children phenolphthalein in acids colorless in bases pink phenolphthalein in acids colorless in bases pink okay children and some of the famous acids some of the famous acids already we discussed everyone know very much perfect hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid hno3 nitric acid h2co3 carbonic acid h3po4 phosphoric acid ch3coh acetic acid or ethanolic acid some of the famous acids hcl h2so4 minimum you are expected to know this many acids children HCl hydrochloric acid, HCl for sulfuric acid, HCl for nitric acid, H2CO3 carbonic acid, H3PO4 phosphoric acid, CH3COOH carbonic acid, and some of the famous bases are some of the famous bases are KOH potassium hydroxide, NaOH, CHL and all metals sodium hydroxide. I am writing in activity series, okay? CaOH taken by calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide, zinc hydroxide, iron hydroxide, ferrous, lead hydroxide, copper hydroxide, mercury hydroxide, silver hydroxide. What not? Metals means bases, children. Metals means bases. That's all. Okay. And in neutralization reaction, I told you all these acids with all these bases. Also, we did so many times. So, children, finally, all the differences between acids and bases are there on your keyboard. Right? I hope everyone are copying this. Children. So, children, small summary recap. After this, I will stop, children. So, acids liberate H plus ions when dissolved in water. Bases liberate OH minus ions when dissolved in water. According to Lowry and Bronsted theory, acids are proton donors. Bases are proton acceptors. According to Lewis theory. Acids are electron acceptors, bases are electron donors. Who will accept electrons? Non metals. So, non metals always form acids. Non metals, acids. Non metals, acids. Metals means bases. Remember, metal, if you see any metal base, that's all children. That's why I told you our blood is basic in nature because our blood has iron. Blood is basic in nature because our blood has iron. I told you also. Okay, pH is less than 7, pH is more than 7. Exactly 7 is neutral. Forget about that. Acids are sore, sore means pull up. Okay, like lemon, all those things. Bases are bitter. And litmus test, acids change blue litmus to red litmus, easy to remember. Bar. And bases change red litmus to blue litmus. Universal uh, indicator solution will give red in acids, red, orange, yellow, and bases blue children. Green is neutral. Methyl orange, MRY, remember, red in acids, yellow in bases. Phenolphthalein. Colorless in acids, pink in bases, and some of the famous acids, some of the famous blue. This is how difference between acids and bases are there. Children. You have to remember all these things. If I, in exam, Sunday exam, if I ask you, what are the difference between acids and bases, this whole box you should write. This, this carries uh, 5 or 10 marks. Depending upon my mood, I will give you. But this whole box you should write, children. Everything, including this example. I may give 10 marks also, children, and this names also you should write this name because minimum you are expected to learn this many acids HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, H2CO3, H3PO4, CH3COH. Famous acid, acetic acid is very important for 10th class. So many reactions are going to come on acetic acid in future. 10 seconds, I am giving 10 children, copy fast, everyone. After this, I will run this.
remember abbreviations mr by pcp children mr by means methyl orange in acids red in bases yellow pc means phenolphthalein in acids colorless and in bases pink in bases pink indicator is a substance which show different colors in acids and bases so it's right of definition what is an indicator one more question so many times in board exam they ask me indicator is a substance which show different colors in acids and bases indicators we will learn it as a separate topic children because indicators are very important i will discuss it as a separate topic okay children